But if your son ever watches this video, uh, I mean, Terrence popped did a good video about this too. You know, you want to get the, the father's side. When you're raised by a single mother, you're told all kinds of bullshit. Um, make sure before you judge him, before you write him off as a piece of shit to abandon you, talk to him and get his side of the story. Because I guarantee your single mom is fucking lying to you. As someone who was raised by a single mother, they're fucking lying to you. Hey, Shawnee B. It's your dad. Hey, listen, um, I'm sorry to, sorry to disappoint you, but, um, I'm not going anywhere. And, uh, the, I've been waiting patiently for you to call me, and you haven't called yet, so I, here I am again. Uh, I can do this all day, all night, all month, all year. I can, I can hang out and wait for you to get it, to understand what's going on. To a certain until I die anyway. No, seriously though, um, Sean, listen. I'm I'm not here. To, I'm. Hey, I hope you're doing well. By the way, I am. I'm, I miss you every day. And um, uh, I I don't. This is listen. This is unscripted. I I just recorded a, a whole video for you and um, wasn't satisfied with it. I've written letters. I've 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 written your mom letters. I've over the years and I never sent them and. And that's the truth. I, I haven't. I don't. I don't. There's no playbook for me to. Well, there is. I, I did. I did buy a book. I sent you some books too. But I bought a book called How to Win. How to Get Your Son Back. And that's just because I'm. I'm just so desperate, Sean. I don't know. I don't know how to get your attention because it's so important. This really is important. This isn't. I know that your. I don't know what your mom's telling you, and I don't want to assume too much. And uh, you know, I, I want to think that your mom's got good intentions. Um, but she doesn't. Uh, her intentions are pretty bad, and they're not towards you. They're towards me. But she can't she, because she's a woman, and women are. I uh, see this. This is gonna make me sound like a woman hater, and and no one's gonna like this. So keep this to yourself, just between you and me. This is what women do in divorce. This is what they do to men, and our society right now is is pretty bad as far as people being able to go and accuse somebody of a crime and not having to prove it especially when it's somebody's wife because men and Sean listen the, the reason why this is important that you and I connect is because you're a man you are subject to the same treatment same consequences all the shitty stuff in society is all for you it's gonna, it, it will happen to you in some form or another sooner or later I'm not exaggerating that I'm not trying to fear monger you I'm not trying to say that oh but Sean you're in danger your life's in danger your life is actually in danger suicide rates are up for men like through the roof and listen I, I know a lot I know a lot more than your mom because well whenever you punish somebody and you put them in prison falsely accused and you because listen your mom your mom lied about every single thing that she has ever the, everything that's come out of her mouth has been one a uh, ball mixed up with truth and lies, and those are the most insidious lies that that will you'll you'll ever encounter because they're half truths. So that you and then and when when they present them, it's almost like they're creating a different reality. When 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 women get divorced and and they want to they don't like to women don't like blame. Women will avoid blame at all costs. So will men. However, it's not. That's not the way it is for men in society. Men get the full force of the law, and women get protection. Now, why is now normally that would be okay, but see, back in the day, in the old days, it used to be a man was in charge of his family. The cops didn't come in, the, come in there to arrest him or say, "Hey, your wife's got a black eye," um, and then they said it's abuse or whatever. Um, I, I've never hit your mom. First of all, I wouldn't dare, and. Um, but now it's gotten to be where they just come in and arrest first, and they take the man out of the home, and that's that's not that's not a healthy way to run society. And I didn't know all that when I was married. It was it's kind of like an alternate reality that I didn't know about. So listen, I was dealing with I I never intentionally did anything to harm you. There was no, everything I was doing was coping mechanisms and. Um, 
and I was scared. I mean, there was, I was at your mom's mercy at, at home. And she plays the victim. She's not the victim, Sean. She's the perpetrator. I know that sounds crazy even come out of my mouth because when you don't understand the dynamics between men and women as an adult and and because you've seen nothing but dysfunction and that's what you've seen listen your 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 mom and her family and my family okay very dysfunctional how do you know it's dysfunctional well because look what's going on I'm outcast as your father and I've got my son telling me to just move on and you're speaking to me in breakup language you're speaking like your mother you're acting like a girl in that in that regard I'm not saying like you're, you're walking like a girl or talking like a girl I just mean those are women traits women say move on and things like that because uh, men and women are just different uh, don't listen to this message that they got in society right now that's wrong and that is that gender roles are some somehow taught gender roles are not taught there there is that there's some of it maybe some of it is but some of it is mimic and some of it if you don't have like a, a strong role, a role model in your life a man you're going to act like a woman and that's like my brother's doing it and uh, I've got a couple of buddies that they're they live with their moms their whole life uh, okay my best friend my best friend I'll give you an example he uh, was with his mom his mom and dad got divorced there was two there was two boys him and his brother his dad decided they decided to split up the boys I don't know how why they did that but uh, so his dad lives in Alaska with his brother he's healthy they go to work they get along great they have a good father-son relationship and it's and they and they're profitable I mean they, they, they this it's a functional situation my friend however he's got health problems he stays in his room he plays computer games all day he doesn't he hasn't had a girlfriend. He hasn't had a wife. He's very introverted. He's he says he wants to do things, but then he's scared um, about doing stuff. And he's got all these things, and, he, and he's always got to have his mom with him. So his mom has hovered over him, just like because you're still living at home. It's not good. Uh, it it is really detrimental to your health just to live and uh, live with your mom for that long. You sh you should have been out of there already, by the way. I'm not saying that just to try to get her back or something. Listen, there's nothing. I'm not mad at your mom. I'm not upset. I mean, of course, I still hold her responsible for lying and putting me in prison. That's always going to be there until the day that she fixes it. And if she doesn't, well, then, then uh, until she does that, then I won't have nothing to do with her. And the reason why we broke up the, the last time, um, and you saw the whole meltdown, but you didn't, you didn't, you don't know the whole thing. It was your mom that didn't follow through on her commitment of having her family write statements telling the truth about what they all lied about. Because she, she's already admitted it to me, Sean, and I could show you on all the paper. I, I, it's, it's so tiresome. I don't even want to get into it. Um. So, so, just think about the implications. If, just pretend for a minute you believe me, okay? I know you don't believe me, and that's okay. I can I can prove it, and I can listen. I got I got patience all day long. Going to prison will teach you patience. And I've got the truth on my side, so I'm not worried at all about your mom uh, contradicting me or telling me something. I'm not. I'll stand up to her, her, your grandfather. He made a, the statement that was a lie, and I know that you say that you don't care about all this, but this is, has everything to do with how you feel about me. And if I were you, and if no, and I was you, okay, my this happened to my family too. It's it's a repeating pattern, Sean. And if you if you just ignore it, it's going to happen again. It's going to happen to you. It's going to happen to somebody. Maybe maybe your son, whatever. We have got to stop this now. That sounds very lofty, like oh, what, this three but three generations of berries, okay, boys, didn't know their father. And guess what? They all went to jail. Just Lauren, my my dad, his dad. Well, his dad died of brain cancer, but I'm, I'm going to tell you about those guys. And those guys got bad mouths, just like I've been bad mouthed. Say I'm a rapist and all this other stuff. Re utterly ridiculous. Your your the the whole thing is about control, revenge, and being stubborn. Your your mom is stubborn. Like you, listen, do you think it's healthy that I come over and knock on the door before Father's Day, and your mom starts yelling for the police because I because I knock on the door? Do you think that's okay? I mean, sir, no. I mean, because I'm pretty sure I'm not dangerous, and if I wanted to come in the house, I'm sure I could get in there. So what is she? What is she yelling about? 
She's putting on a show for you. I, I, heard, I heard her footsteps running back and forth in there. She's acting like a loon. Um, if you think that's okay, that's only because that's what you've been taught. You have been taught dysfunction. So, of course, Sean, and this, this I've got to come back. You're my son. If I were you, I'd want, I, I wanted my dad to come back, but he didn't come back because he didn't have the resources. He didn't have, listen, there's YouTube videos all over the place. You can learn about this stuff. It's not a secret. There is not, there are so many videos on what I'm telling you. There's videos of people that I'm, like I'm about to show you. I'm going to show you here in just a minute. I want you to watch it and I want you to listen very carefully to what's going on because this is after I'm out of prison. I'm with my girlfriend, Richie. Uh, she stayed together with me while I was in prison and um, she, she knows your mom and I've known her for years, okay? Her son is your age. Now, um, just listen to what's going on because I've already been through it with your mom doing this shit. And it's a side of women that maybe you've never seen before. And she was doing this in front, Zach was in his room, that's her son. And I kept telling her, stop fighting in front of Zach. And see, well, your mom would like to fight in front of you. And then I don't like to fight in front of you, but we're having an epic meltdown because she's really doing something that's horrible, Sean. I can't even, t I don't even want to tell you because it just, you'll, you'll never see it because she's your mother. And so there, there's really no, but just know that the only reason that um, when people say, oh, you know, I got a mother and I got a sister and yeah, your mother and sister are there, or, you know, if you have a sister, they're going to be nice to you because they're not in a romantic relationship with you. And nobody should be trying to take their father out of their life. Sean, I, if for all intents and purposes, let's say your whole family loves you, right? Then they would, they would have a, there would be a functional way of, if they thought I needed to go to prison or if they, they knew I wasn't the troublemaker. I was calling her, uh, your grandfather for help was because I discovered that Santa had uh, funneled a lot of money to him. So they were basically stealing from us, Sean, you, and and me, and your mom. And so, because your mom's not supposed to be, that's not how marriages work. You don't go and just take, empty out your bank accounts and give it to your in your your family. That's, that's not how it works. And so anyway, I don't know how, how else to explain it other than, I shouldn't be having to, to come back I know, like, listen, life's not fair. I already know that. I'm not. This is not about me so much. But and I know that it's going to be easy just to tear me up. If your mom listens to this, she'll she'll comes up with ten different ways to tell me how stupid or wrong I am about something about the way I'm going about this. And I, and I listen. I, maybe I am. But I know the truth, and I know that I shouldn't have to be uh, coming back in your life. Let's say if I was wrong, and if I did was kidnapping, and raping your mom, and all this stuff, then. Um, then that would be understandable but uh, they, there should still be a path to come back into your life because I didn't do those things to you you see what I'm saying and what you remember and, uh, and, we, and I don't we can talk about it I don't mind talking about it with you I, I want you to ask me questions and I want you to and I'm going to explain to you what exactly was going on at the time because it wasn't some cooperation between me and Sandra Sandra and I were fighting and she was trying to make me think that she was crazy she was acting like she's going to commit suicide and all these dumb things that are attention getters because she's trying to take away she's trying to hide that she's doing bad and how she does that is by manipulation and removing me from your life that's why they want me out of your life they don't want your because your dad your grandfather doesn't want me to to confront him about his lies about him listen that's pretty terrible when you when you enable your grown daughter and write a statement that's false against me. I'm part of the family too, Sean. He wrote a false statement against your dad. I'm your dad who loves you. I'm your loved one. I'm the guy that will protect you in this world. And they removed your biggest protector out of your life. Now, there's some good to come out of this, and that is I'm a stronger person now, and I can stand up to her whole family. Her, I hate to, Sean. I hate to tell you this. It's bad news. They're just. They're not. It's not good. Your 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 mother and listen. If I uh, let me let me make a, one excuse for your mom. Um, she doesn't have anybody telling her to do the right thing. I have everybody telling me I'm wrong. So naturally, I'm going to learn all the lessons. I'm going to gain all the wisdom. I'm going to gain the advantages from learning a lesson. There are there are advantages to being punished and 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 learning a lesson and and contemplating and growing inside and becoming a better person. 
or bigger person, whatever. It's, it's, a, it's a, like a higher state of enlightenment, okay? I'm not saying I'm the Buddha. I'm just saying that your mom didn't get that. So that's why women, you, and see, because women in the society, we don't, we don't punish them the same. That's why your mom only got a year and I got eight years. Yet your mom was named the most culpable and she's the one that started it. So how do you, how do you reconcile that? Well, it's because we protect women. But see, here's the thing. The problem with that is women have been wanting equality for the last hundred years, and there's it's and you're supposed to be equal under the law. That's where it's going to fuck you, Sean. When you get when you get older, or not when you get older, but at any time, if it, if you have a girlfriend and she wants to say that you raped her, you will go to jail. You will go to jail, no questions asked. Just like your mom had me arrested, and that's not right. That's injustice. You shouldn't be able to just say that about anybody and have them arrested. And let me tell you something, Sean. It is. The past does matter. Okay, here, here's, here's the part. So, let me cut this off and I'll get back to you. Okay? I love you, buddy. Just listen to it. Anyway, so this is me living with my girlfriend. Check it out. She wants me out because she says I didn't pay rent. Um, she's lying. And watch which, watch how she behaves. She's trying to get the neighbors involved. So they'll call. Because I told her, I said, listen, don't you ever call the police on me and say I, didn't, I, I did something I didn't do. I said, because I've been through this before. So I was, I was able to leave the situation, but listen to how she's behaving. It's disgusting. Well, you don't call the police just because your mom. Don't close the door, I said. Don't it's cold door. outside. Okay, you'll see right here. Um, she wants me out in the middle of the night, just on a whim. She's mad at me for playing PlayStation. She's going to threaten me right here, and I want you to listen very carefully to how she threatens me. Okay, that means she's going to have two armed men come to the and force me out at gunpoint that's what that that's what that exactly means she's trying to get somebody to call the police that's why she's being loud outside this is and it's easily deniable she can say oh i just i that's not what i meant you see what i'm saying so when i tell you that your mom was threatening me your mom was threatening me with with firearms she couldn't have been any clearer if she had been if she had been pointing a gun at me and sure enough police came and took you out of the house that night so I'm not crazy, and this is something you should be concerned about. Keep watching. This is the she's, she's going to keep going. Okay, did you hear what she just said? She said she can't stand me no more. She doesn't like me videotaping her because now I have evidence of her bad behavior. She's trying to do something to me that you couldn't even do. It would be illegal to do to a stranger. She's breaking the law right now by trying to have it. And plus, all my stuff is there now. Now, l lately, she is trying to get me back. She's begging me back. I wonder why, because women can't figure out that how they feel right now is not going to how they feel later. So this this is what happens when you run your life on emotions, Sean. This is a perfect example. Your mother is just like this. She's no different. And the only reason, and not all women have done this or will do this, but the but unless they have no morals, then they can figure out that they can hide it. You see, like like your mom is hiding behind her family. When you have five or six other people that are supporting your bad behavior, how do you think gangs get started and, and um, bad governments? Because it's all bad people working together. Now, Sean, are you a good person or a bad person? Because I want to be a good person, and my son better be a good person. And don't you don't enable people like this. You just don't. It's the wrong thing to do. It's bad for families. It's bad for you. It's, bad, it's, it's totally bad for you right now. I don't know how else to, how plainer I can put it. Now, does this prove anything about your mother? No, of course not. Okay, I'm not trying to pretend it is, but it's pretty damn similar. I'm not a liar. You can, you can, if you want to talk to any of my friends or anybody that knows me, no one, no one talks about me like that and says, oh yeah, Bruno, he just makes up stupid lies all the time and whatever, you know, and, and when I told people what you said to me, my friends, because you know, they're they're supporting me and everything, and they said, "Oh, they were, they felt so bad. They were like, 
you just have to be there for him. He'll, he doesn't get it right now because he's surrounded by it. And I said, no, I, I get that. I, I know that that's why you don't understand. I know that's why you'll, you're going to reject me, and you'll probably reject me again. And so this is my job as a father. Is I've got to stick this out. Because, listen, I'm a, I'm a human too, man. Um, I don't I don't like this any more than you do. I, it's This sucks. It sucks that I got taken out of my son's life and then come back and he tells me, get lost. That's like, you, uh, listen, I, I'm not hurt by that because I know that you don't know. So there's understanding there. But, but because I'm human, there's a little piece of me that's kind of like, man, I just spent all that time in prison. Shit I didn't do. I went through all this hell and I get back and then the person that I was doing it for rejects me. Think about how horrible that would make you feel. And I'm not trying to make you feel horrible for saying that. Listen, what you're what you're going through right now is normal reaction to what's been what's been done to you. And unfortunately, most of which I can't even take responsibility for because I wasn't there. I I I didn't put myself in prison, Sean. I mean, I could understand if I went out and I committed some rapes and was violent towards your mom. That's ne I've never been abusive towards your mom. It's this is why I say later on, if not now, maybe it's not now because you're going to excuse her behavior and you'll stay with her because she does stuff for you. But I can tell you right now, there is you're in no danger of, of of losing anything with your mom or like if she tries to kick you out or something. Listen, I'm here for you. I can take care of anything that she can take care of. And not, and but I'm not here to babysit you or take care of you. You gotta, you've gotta get out on your own. You gotta, you gotta be a man. You gotta get out and you gotta get away from your mom. You, it's imperative that you get away from her. And I'm, and I'm gonna, it's, it's so backed up in psychology. I'm, I'm telling you, there's, there's mountains of evidence that, that shows it. I can show you examples in real life. You, you're, you're, you're gonna be a, uh, for, all, for lack of a better term, right? you're gonna be a loser if you stay with your mom. She doesn't have a man. She's not happy. She's going to cling on to you just like my mom's clinging on to my brother. It's an unhealthy relationship. He doesn't. He's never got a job. If When she dies and he doesn't have any money, he's going to come begging to me. But he's already burned his bridge with me. He's already done some bad stuff. And and you'll do it too. If you stay there, you'll you'll become a liar. You you won't be trustworthy. You're going to turn into... I'm not trying to say you are those things now. I'm saying that those things... That's what your... Single motherhood is... The statistics are in, and it's not good. It's bad for society. You're, you're, you're three times, or what, I don't know, remember what the numbers are, but you're likely to go to prison. All the things that's happened to me is because single motherhood. My mother was single, trying to raise four kids. Kicked my dad out, lied about my dad, didn't admit it to me until I finally hounded her until it happened to me. And then she admitted to me that she did, and then at 74 years old, she, but he was already dead. So think about, Sean, I've been abandoned by every, I don't mind... I don't mind your family abandoning me. I don't mind my family abandoning me. It's, it hurts me. But they're not good people anyway. They're not people that cared about me. So what, what did I lose? But at the same time, I'm out here in the wilderness, Sean. I have nobody. I, I don't. I, my son doesn't want to. Is trying to tell me to move on. He's siding with. He's siding with his captors. He's siding with the evil bad people. And I'm not just saying, <laughs> Sean. I'm not exaggerating. Uh, if if you put me, your dad, and, and your ma, and your grandmother, and because your grandmother ain't no good either, you put us all in the same room, and I confront them, and if they had to tell, the, if they had some truth serum, they would tell you that I'm not a bad person, Sean. I'm the guy. I'm your, I'm your, I'm your, I'm your dad. There's there's nobody's gonna love you more. It doesn't mean I do everything right. I'm just, just saying, I would never abandon you. I never do something that potentially hurts you and they know what they're doing right now is hurting you i'm not gonna cow down to you i'm not gonna bow I'm not, down I'm not asking you. you are richie i have to be at, i have to be at parole tomorrow and i have to be able to get ready for that that women are wrong for to accept, men need to understand it, women are unlikely to want to accept it at some point, but again, this is number two guys, this is a reality. Alright, let's hop into number three, and with this one, it's quite simply, there's no good girls. The only difference between good girls and bad girls is the bad girls have been caught. The good girls haven't been caught yet, or they haven't been, uh... I love you, man, and um, I'm sorry. To, I know this is going to be shocking news, and um, and none of this uh, this doesn't have to necessarily pertain. Or you're going to see 
uh, through Sandra because uh, she's your mom. But all women are like that, and um, and I th I think men need to stick together. I, I, I'm. I, this is why you need me um, in some aspect of your life. I mean, you don't have to hang out with me every day or whatever, but I do need to see you. I need to see you, man. I, 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 we, we can fix our relationship, okay? It got damaged, but it's it's not... It's, it's fixable, okay? I love you, man. Uh, I, hate, I hate this, though.